Kathy. I'm asking her just to yield her neck. Okay, she so you're been. She needed to move all her feet too, and I just let her. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're all you're. All I asked her to do is just yield. Just like bend this. around and give her Close hip. To me and, yeah, and yeah, turn around and acknowledge that I'm sitting up here. Yeah, basically. And I'm not asking her to move. I like to know we're near her. My seat's deep. She just felt it was necessary. <laughs> So you just sit there and make them kind of feel stupid they just did something they really didn't have to work that hard. But we're going to do it this way too because we are very even. So without being asked, we are going to walk little circles. Until we realize that we're not being asked. Do anything besides yield my head. Oh yeah. I didn't ask your feet to move. I'll get to that one. leg on, I want the leg to mean something. Girl. Okay. It has been a while, hasn't it? processing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's a foot. You know, it's interesting when I start babies and you do all this sacking out and you swing all this stuff over, the one thing that they tend to be the most surprised about uh -huh. is your right foot. Because of that eye. You spend all that time on the left side putting your foot in and out of the stirrup and you do it on the right side too, but there's something about having that leg swing over and now there's one on each side, but that right one seems to get their attention more than the left. What's that doing over there? Why is it over there? Yeah. Oh, let's try this side. So you're well, that's what she did. Yeah, so you're yielding the hindquarters. So you're asking for one, but you'll take whatever she gives. I'm asking her to step away from my leg, which ideally means sideways, but sometimes we go forward too. <laughs> Yeah, they think it's a game. Well, I mean, they can do it for a long, long time. It's not like you're going to tire them out. I think Becky Hart said it best when someone asked, well, don't you lunge Rio before you race him? Like, he does 100-mile races. What is my point going to be? Lunge him for three days? <laughs> it's like, no. If I lunge him at all, it's just to see if he's sound. Yeah. <laughs> well, this leg was on. Well, that was interesting. She moved into that. I mean, you're about to wave. There we go. See, what she did is she moved her shoulder towards my foot, which was interesting. And then we moved the butt away. We weren't quite connecting the idea that my leg needs to move your back leg. We'll step over and see what that is. Showed when she was lunging to the left, 
she was more willing to drag me around the arena. Yeah. <laughs> to the right, she was more concentrating on getting beats right. We're having major mouth. Yeah, we're very focused on our tongue, but not so much on the fact that the leg is budging. Thank you. I worked with a horse that was deaf. Oh. That was pretty funny. Because every time I'd cluck or say ho, the owner would laugh at me. <laughs> so who's that for? <laughs> yeah, he was a uh, Overo paint, and apparently that shows up with some of them. Uh, more prevalent in that color pattern. Yes. So pretty light. I'm just giving a little extra squeeze on this right rein because I would really like her to look a little to the right, which she wasn't doing. She's trying to bend to the left. So I'm going to put a little right leg. I'm put a little bit of right leg right near the girth. Ask for the bend. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit more on that right side because I really would like her to try to tip her nose. <laughs> A little bit to the right. Thank you. Just enough so I can see eyelashes. Yes. Now, I'm not trying to flex her to my knee. I just want her to bend her neck in a more uniform arc. Got a Welsh cob I'm working with right now. We refer to it as a pretzel. I have never seen a horse that can bend her neck and work. S curves. And still go on a line. <laughs> Now it's real important when she's walking that my hips move with her. Mm -hmm. If I sit still, I'm not moving on her back, I would expect her to stop. Okay. No, I'm not moving away from she. <laughs> <laughs> huh, yes. We walk with one of my courage. Motion with our hips. With a saddle like this, it's even more obvious to them since she's so deep into their back. What do you ride down in? Ah. Yeah. Bear back once in a while, which is fun. Rope on the mouth. <laughs> yeah, my horse will stand next to Betsy. Yeah. Yeah. If the head comes up, I'm going to work with her jaw. I'm just softening her jaw by squeezing the rein, putting a little more pressure, but it's give and take. It's like milking a cow or wringing out a sponge, whatever analogy works for you. Mm -hmm. It's not a pull. I don't want to brace on her, because I don't want her to brace on me. Correct. But, so it's kind of a massage. I'm just asking her to give me your jaw, ever so politely, and get your head in my face, and ask you to walk on, and give me your jaw. Oh. So you didn't release until she gave to you. Huh. But it's not a hard pull. That's yeah, it, yeah. the thing. There is a feel you have to develop, because if you clamp, they panic. Uh, then they show you who has the leverage. Not news for you, their legs are the ones on the ground. Good girl. When she's round and soft, though that's a little low, um, there's almost no contact. I like so that. I'm slack up in the rain so that I have a little feel. And she's just filled out the reins of what I've given her. And it's just very soft. All right, we're going to reverse. I'm going to put a little more inside leg right on the girth. Inside leg, and we're going to work the other side of her brain. Ah. <laughs> this is the side that may have more opinions. Nice. Contact on the outside brain, the second side brain. 
tell this to put her in the frame. Inside range, she gives her a little bit of yield, and she's bending more consistently on the side.